in my shirt. I was, I was pretty witty. I was sinful, but I was witty. And, and I, I remember that, that I got that report card, and I'd go in there, and I would, I would change it. I'd get the same coloring of that thing, and I'd, I'd just kind of ink it around a little bit, and I'd change that D to a B. And my dad let my grace, great job, son. Thanks, Dad. You know. But there's no getting around. There's no changing the Lamb's Book of Life. Look at me. There's, there's no taking a pen. There, there's no getting in there and blotting anything around it. So my point is today is what a blessing that when God writes your name down in the Book of Life, He don't change it. And here's where I'm going. Our grade wasn't so good when He wrote our names. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. In the Lamb's Book of Life. We weren't making good grades at all. We were living a lie. We were living in sin. We were running after the devil. You know, the other night, the Lord made the greatest statement to me. He said, you know, son, He said, you're in here in the church with me. And He said, there's so many out there. And He said, they're running with the devil. That's what He said. And I thought, you know, I used to do the same thing, Brother George. We'd be out there like a dog, Brother Harold. We'd have, we wouldn't have no leash on, no collar on. Now, praise God, God's got a collar on us. He's got a leash on us. Amen. He's got ownership in our life. Somebody help me preach. You own by God. God's got you on a leash because He loves you. God's got a collar around you because He knows who you are. God's got a name on that collar. There's a name He said that I've given everybody a new name, praise God, that's been written in heaven. Come on, somebody. God said in His Word, hallelujah, that when you're born again, your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. That's not it. Hey, wait a second. Wait, wait. That's, wait a second. That's not just any book. That's not a fairy tale book. That's not National Geographic. Amen. That's not Sports Illustrated. Amen. That's not some novel. That's not Karen Kingsbury. Let me tell you right now, your name is written in the King of Kings book and the Lord of Lords book. The Lamb, my God, I feel God. In the Lamb's book of life. Hallelujah to God. Stand up and give our God praise for just a minute. Stand up and praise Him. Come on and praise Him. So today, today, right here at this altar, right through here, the altar, God has given us all in here today an invitation. Here's what He told, he told me to close the service. I preached all that invitation about invite for a reason, to get you to see. Now God invites you today. He's just using my mouth to tell you. But He's the one that is inviting you. All morning long. Since early this morning, I've been up. I don't usually get up early on Sunday. I like to sleep in a little bit because I don't get to sleep a lot during the week anyway. But I woke up early this morning. And here's the Scripture that God gave me. He said, for my throne, He said, there are two rivers. There's one river that's a river of water. And there's another river that flows from His throne it's a river of fire. Who glory to God. Hallelujah. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Amen. And the living water. Amen. And the Lord took me to the Old Testament. In the, I believe it was, in the book, it was in the book of Ezekiel. It talked about the water, how it began to rise. He said when he first saw the water, he said it was only ankle deep. These are people... They're in the water, don't get me wrong, but they're just around the fringes of what God really has. He said, I looked again. My God, the water's rising. And he said, I looked again. And he said, the water was knee deep. Ezekiel said, I watched in amazement as the river come up to the loins. My God, I feel the Holy Ghost. Will you raise your hand? I feel God so strong. He said, then I looked and he said it was a river so deep, waters to swim in. My God, somebody, I feel the Spirit of the Lord right now. Holy Ghost, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. 
God is saying, I am the living water. I'll give you life today. I'll give you more today if you'll come. And listen, and I want to ask you, look at me everybody. I want you to come this morning and stand up here with me. God gives an invitation to go deeper with Him. How many people want to go deeper with God? I, listen, and I, keep your hands up. Don't drop them. Keep them up. You have to raise the other one. Raise the other one up for a minute. But keep them up. Because I want to tell you something before you come. There's not just one river. There's two of them. That's the part that nobody ever preaches about. There's another river around you that's a river of fire. There's a river of water, and there's a river of fire. And, 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 they're, and they're impassable in your life. If you, if, when God gives you an invitation to go deeper, what does He mean? What is He talking about? Well, first of all, in a deeper relationship. That's the main thing. In a deeper prayer life. In a, in a, in a deeper walk. In, 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 a, in a deeper consecration. I can go on and on and on. But today, God just wants to pour out His Spirit upon you. God just wants to give you more to encourage you and to, and to strengthen. How many want to go deeper with God? Let me see your hands. I want you by faith to come up here and stand at this altar today. Jamie, I want you to sing that song, Lift Your Hands to the Heaven. Thanks for joining with us for the broadcast from New Beginning Worship Center in Greenback, Tennessee. We are located at 6501 Highway 411 South in Greenback, Tennessee, zip code 37742. Emails may be addressed to nbwcmailbox at gmail.com. Pastor Marcus Severance and the congregation invite you to join with us Sundays at 10 a.m. for teaching followed by worship services at 11 a.m. and 6 p.m. We also meet midweek at 7 p.m. on Wednesdays. We're located on Highway 411 in Greenback, Tennessee, just three buildings down from the intersection of Highway 95. If you can't meet with us in person, please join us again next time for our broadcast.